As this is me, as Queen O said, Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. So I got a message from someone and she asked me, did I have any pet peeves about YouTube? Pet peeves about subscribers and pet peeves about um, YouTube channels. So today I'm going to talk about my pet peeves about YouTube channels. First of all, um, I watch a lot of YouTube. <laughs> I do. I watch a lot of YouTube. I really enjoy YouTube. I like it a lot. I've always watched a lot of YouTube. Ever since I first came across it, I always thought it was a wonderful education tool. So I've always taught myself and watched videos and things like that from YouTube. So first and foremost, I think YouTube is like amazing. I wish we had it when I was a kid. It would have been perfect for some of the classes that I had to take. So... The only thing that really annoys me are the things I'm getting ready to tell you about right now. First of all, I've seen in the past several YouTube beefs. What is a YouTube beef? It's when a, YouTube, a person with one YouTube channel is angry with somebody else with a YouTube channel and they start making videos about each other. I've seen this happen a number of times. And for this very reason, I don't speak on my feelings about YouTube channels that I don't particularly care for. I keep that to myself because that's how these kind of beefs get started. Somebody says something off color about another channel and then somebody on that channel gets hurt and offended and now that they make a video about it and then you make a video to respond to their video <laughs> and then they make a video to respond to your video. I'm like... This is the dumbest shit I've seen in my life. And I've seen it happen a lot. I remember one time it was this guy and this girl and they were beefing. And I didn't know them. I just so happened to stumble across his video dissing her. And then come to find out he did the video because she was talking about him on social media. And then they both ended up doing a series of videos about each other with time stamps and oh she said this and him showing the conversation and i mean he was real sophisticated and really petty so he sat there and like took all their conversations and like you know made them into pictures and used them in the video and her video wasn't as sophisticated she was just on camera like me talking but talking about him and how he was no good and blah 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 so I only watched like a piece of his and a piece of hers before I realized what it was about. And I was just like, wow. And then since then, I've seen this happen lots and lots of times. So I never even go there. I have some affiliations with certain channels, but it's people that I really like. And <laughs> we watch each other's channel. We encourage each other. Um, a lot of you guys know uh, Rich Loop. Is it Lop? I think it's Lop. I think it's Rich Lop. Um, he comes on this channel and he, you know, encourages people to watch my videos. I go watch his videos and speak on what he's talking about. You know, I'll do those kind of things. Um, collaborations, maybe in the future, you know, positive conversations, you know, channeling information from one channel to another one, recommending somebody's channel. Like I do a lot, you know, stuff like that. It, but if it's not positive, I don't get involved with it because to me, it's just a waste of time. So YouTube beefs are one or probably my biggest pet peeve. I think that is so, so just high school. You know, and then you sit and make a whole video about it. I just, I've seen it happen too many times and it's just ugly energy. Two, beating around the bush. I hate when I'm watching a YouTube channel and this is something to make me never watch again. I hate when I'm watching the channel and they keep beating around the bush. You ever notice like in the beginning or maybe even throughout the video, they keep on talking about things that are around the subject, but not quite the subject. That annoys me. I'm like, Tell me what you want to say, get to the point, and move the fuck on. <laughs> you know, I got things to do. I want to see this video and I want to move on. You know, I don't want to hear about your grocery list and, you know, how you were trying to make this video, but you fell down the steps and then you couldn't comb your hair because you lost your brush. I don't want to hear all of that, you know. Just tell me the information and move on. Some videos are like 15 minutes and all you get is like three minutes of information. I cannot stand that. And you got to listen to the whole video just to get that three minutes. I cannot stand that. So that is really a pain in the butt. But um, I think that that's just something a lot of people learn as they're making videos to not beat around the bush. So that's annoying to me.
grooming on camera. I always look at uh, YouTube videos and a person is in the camera and they're like, you know, okay, y'all. So, um, yesterday I went to the store and, and they're all in the camera grooming. It's like, you supposed to groom before you get on the camera. Now I know that when you're looking at yourself, sometimes you see a hair out of place or something like that, but do it quick and move on. You know, some people are like, oh, I didn't do my hair this morning. And it's not on the topic at all. They're talking talking about let's say computers and they're telling me uh they're telling us the audience oh i'm sorry i didn't do so and so with my hair today and um blah 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 oh and i didn't uh put my highlighter on my nose and uh and you're like i don't care just tell me about the damn computer <laughs> you know so that gets on my nerves too it goes along with beating around the bush grooming on camera number three bad sound quality now i'm not saying you have to spend money to get a microphone or spend expensive money to get whatever what i'm saying is this some people have all kind of like like you can't hear them you got to turn your youtube all the way up to 10 and they're still kind of quiet you know so those kinds when it's the, the sound quality is awful i mean really really bad then it's hard to listen to what they're saying that's why a lot of times i try to make sure that i'm inside because i get the best sound quality in this room that's why i often tape in this particular room because i get the best sound quality I need to be able to hear what you're saying if I want to engage in the video. Next one, background noises. This goes with sound quality, but some people have all this background noise. Like you can hear babies crying and dogs barking and, you know, people outside yelling. And a lot of times I don't tape outside. I like to tape outside because I like around here is really beautiful. But a lot of times I don't tape outside because there's so much noise. There's noise from the trucks. There's noise from people. And people are really rude. When you're taping, they'll talk even louder, it seems like to me, you know. So I try to stay away from all that background noise. That's why I usually come in here. You know, I could take you guys. Sometimes I do take you guys to the pool or I walk over to the gym area or to the river. But like I said, there's just so much background noise. So if I watch a YouTube video and there's a lot of background noise, a lot of times I don't watch the video. Some of my earlier videos were done outside and that's why I stopped doing them outside and came inside. So you can really hear what I have to say. Not staying on topic. This goes with beating around the bush, but they'll be talking about computers and they'll branch off to dinner. Then they'll come back to something else. I don't want you to jump. <laughs> you know, I want you to just stay to the topic. Talking about computers, talk about computers. If you're talking about TVs, talk about TVs. If you're talking about pet peeves, talk about pet peeves. Don't tell me about pet peeves and your lunch menu and your cousin Boo Boo. <laughs> you know, I'll hear about them in a different video. Stay on topic. And the last one, my last pet peeve is inconsistency. I hate when I watch a decent video, a great video, and then the person posts two months later, <laughs> three months later, you know, or they don't post anymore or they post when they feel like it. I don't like inconsistent posting. Um, I used to do it all the time, inconsistent posting. I would post whenever I wanted to, basically. And then I realized that it's better to stay consistent because if people are following you and people like what you have to say, you know, they're looking for your next video. Like, you know, when's our next video, you know? And you pop up when you want to, you know, it's not as good. So I like consistency. I like somebody who posts a few times a week, you know, and it's consistent. They post every Monday, every Wednesday, every Friday. I really like that. I like that a lot. So for those of you who want to do YouTube channels or for those of you who are doing, some of you already have great YouTube channels. Remember these when you're doing it, because these are the kind of things that will make a person not watch your videos. Um, that's other things too, obviously, but these are some of the things that I personally have unsubscribed from people for these things not really for inconsistency that's just disappointing but the other ones um i've unsubscribed if a person has negative energy and they're always in beefs with other channels or just with people in general i was watching this one girl's channel and she was um having a beef 
with somebody and was doing videos about it. I unsubscribed. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> like, seriously, I do not want to hear that shit. So I unsubscribed, you know, and a lot of these things will make me unsubscribe. Background noise, I will unsubscribe. Beating around the bush, not being on topic, uh, I'm unsubscribing. You know, I'm not going to sit and listen to those because there are other channels that do these things well. So why listen to your channel and deal with BS when I can go to somebody else's channel and not deal with BS, you see? And I'm not saying that people always have to be positive. You never have a bad day. We all have bad days. I have my moments. We all have our moments. But listening to somebody rant and rave and be negative on their videos, it really like... It's, it's really, to me, no point in really watching their videos. I didn't come here to get bad energy. I can go talk to, you know, any, anybody on the street or some Yahoo if I want to get bad energy. I come to be entertained and I come to learn something. So I guess that's, you know, my objective. Maybe some people that's not their objective. Their objective might be to just be entertained. And maybe that negative energy does entertain them. But negative energy doesn't entertain me. If somebody says something negative or it, it, it's, you know, I don't want to hear it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Take all that over there. Like it, life is too short for all of that. So those are the kind of things that could make a person not want to watch your channel. So if you have a channel, make sure that you consider these things as you're producing content. Okay. All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to somebody else who may have a channel or may be considering starting a channel and tell them to consider these things because we as subscribers are definitely considering these things likewise if you want to send me a love donation or a, a gift off my amazon wish list i'll leave both of them underneath this video if you have a question for asking aquarius please drop it under this video or email it to me if you want a tarot or an oracle card reading please email me for an appointment and as always, remember, if you have to ask someone, you may as well ask an Aquarius. See you later.